Good afternoon, this is David Arietta. Today I wanted to talk about advanced healthcare directives. An advanced healthcare directive is an important state planning document. It allows you to appoint an agent to act for you in the event that you are incapacitated and unable to make medical decisions. The primary part of the form is you're gonna appoint an agent. The agent is the person who's gonna be responsible for making healthcare decisions on your behalf. I would recommend appointing an initial agent and then one or two successor agents in case your primary agent declines to act. Next, the form will require that you state whether or not it's effective immediately or upon incapacity. Historically, you'll see the forms are effective upon incapacity. That means one or two doctors will make a decision that you're unable to make medical decisions on your own. In certain situations, you can make it immediate, and that way you're, there's no letter required. Your agent can make decisions for you. Possibly, um, if you're going into uh, surgery, that's probably a good way to do it. Um, and also, you can limit the time frame in the document if you only want to make it effective for, say, six months or a year. Um, the next part of the document that's really important is uh, your desires as to life prolonging treatment. In the document, you'll you usually have several choices. You can put in writing whether or not you want um, any and all uh, care to be taken in the event, you know, sort, sort of a pull the plug situation. Uh, how much care do you want the doctors and, and nurses to give you? How much discretion you want your agent to have at that point in time? Um, the document also allows you to put forth desires as to cremation or burial, uh, church services, um, so there's a lot of there's a lot of parts of the document that you can customize and add. The, the the biggest part, as I said earlier, is you're appointing an agent. After that point in time, you're going to give your agent desires, um, and you can again put all that in writing uh, in the in the document. Um, the form, in terms of signing it, you must sign and date it. Uh, you normally will have it notarized. Uh, in certain situations, you can have it witnesses. So you have two witnesses who are not related to you. They will also sign the document. Your agent does not have to sign the form. If you have any questions about advanced health care directives, give me a call. David Arietta. My office is in Walnut Creek, and my phone number is 925-472-8000.